Okay, we got our little offset bushing board. Uh, the final board came out to seven, five, nine, eight, seven, five, nine, seven. So it's two to three ten thousandths under my goal of 0 0.760. Uh, now the next thing we got to do is we got to do what's called parting off. We have to cut our bushing free of the big part, and that's going to be a eh, it's going to be sort of a problem. I have to think about because it's now turning eccentrically in the chuck. That is, the OD is kind of wobbling around, so I have a choice. I can try parting it off right there, or I can recenter the part to where it's turning perfectly true. But then the problem I'm going to run into is when I get to the bore, the bore is going to be turning off center, and what's going to happen is I'm going to have a sharp edge come down on the party tool. Now this is a party tool. It's, uh, I don't know how it shows up, let's see if I can find a good spot for it. It's about like a hand plane to use on wood. It just shaves off a curl of metal. And I think what I'd rather have is the solid part coming in and we just make little bitty tiny shavings till we finally get down where we're making full contact. Then when it reaches the bowl, it's running true with the board. It'll be making even contact and will have a constant wall thickness right where it's trying to cut through the final part of the board. I'll bring you over the lathe and show that to you. You guys that know all about lathes and milling machines, just fast forward, unless you're curious. But I figured I showed you the whole process. Might as well go right to the bitter end and show you the final act of parting off the finished part to length. Now it's nominal 3 eighths, I measured it. It's about 380 instead of 375. So I'm gonna part it off at about 390. Give me about 10 thousandths extra. And there's a reason behind that. We'll get to that a little later. Let's go over the lane. 